you get the net for me? Yeah. Good lord. I got lures bigger than this guy. Hi folks. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Casting Across Texas Fishing. This week I had an opportunity to take a day off work this past Friday and anytime I take a day off work the best thing for me to do is get out on the water. So I went out to uh, Lake Bastrop with my friend Dave. We took his 17 foot bass tracker out and ended up starting out, started out slow but uh, in the end we had a pretty good day. Although we did have to fight some wind. But uh, again, thanks for tuning in and hope you enjoy this. I'm looking at is these areas here. Okay. Don't want to fish off that point. Yeah, there's actually it's marked there. Too bad now. Huh? The wind isn't too bad right now. Now I can start fishing. Get in those that stump. Mm. 
Oh, come on. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's not a bad one. On the spinner bait. That was pretty quick too, like yours. Yeah. When they're there, they're there. Fun size. Yep. You mean throw them back? Yeah. Keep keep them tight. He said, oh. <laughs> putting up a fight like he was. Felt like a five pounder. Well, he went for the bottom <laughs> just then. I gotta give you credit, you're definitely going for it in those spots that I'm afraid to. That's, that's huh? the biggest one I've caught so far. Yeah. yeah he, out there at the tip of that tree and then he headed back that way and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Wrong direction, buddy. Try a drop shot. Uh, I don't know though around around all this timber how it's gonna do. on here that's why on the video I don't know if you saw my video but that's why I'm like please 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 because I could just feel that thing wanting to go back into the weeds oh boy hey, you're catching them everywhere <laughs> that's a nice one wow that's a really nice one That's the best one yet. Very nice. I almost let him swallow it. Huh? I was messing with that line back here to get it out of your pole. It was just sitting there. I think he already had it. Is he ready to go? for me? Yeah.
Thank you, sir. About three. It's the same one I just caught. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. Yep. Thank you, sir, ma'am. Get that hook out. You got it just, it's just twisted. Ouch. Pictures since I hadn't had that many. And the release. Ooh, Dave. Oh yeah, very nice. Did he swallow it? He inhaled it up. down is it oh, man that's Let's see if I can get it where I can twist it out got it that went too bad that's about three I would say that's a very nice one Took off, huh? He was ready to go. Fun fish. <laughs> Good lord. We've got lures bigger than this guy. I was watching the other day and lure bigger than that. <laughs> Small, he's gonna be hung around one of these limbs. That's a little bit better. That's the big brother. That's the brother. Not much bigger though. <laughs> Not much bigger at
too. Long. Not very fat, but pretty long. One thing I learned with the, uh, you got one? <laughs> Is he still taking it? Oh, he might be swimming. It's warm, uh, playing with it. Why were you letting him play with it? Huh? Why were you letting him play with it? You didn't. Just bumping it. Oh, he wasn't. Let go. He pick it up. Bump, bump, bump. Let go. Oh, he was like playing tether ball or something. <laughs> what I was gonna say is one of the things I learned is when I'm casting a drop shot pretty far away from the boat I do a longer leader because that way it doesn't you know it'll still stay above the it'll stay up if you're just going straight down you don't need that long a leader usually unless you're trying to stay above grass or something another dink A long neat, but now.
watching and be sure to if you hadn't already be sure to subscribe hit that like button hit that notification bell and help my channel because i'm still growing but i know i got a long ways to go y'all have a great day